Hey, this is Manny with Not Waiting to Live, and in this video, I made a huge painting mistake. I painted water-based paint on top of oil-based paint. So in this video, I'm gonna show you one simple trick to prevent yourself from ever making this mistake, and I'll also show you what I have to go through to correct the mistake that I made. Tonight I'm in a commercial space, so a walk-up storefront, and I got right to work painting the trim you see behind me. But after I got finished with the trim in this room, I started to notice that the paint really wasn't drying right. Here's an up-close view of how the water-based paint has dried over one of the oil-based paint doors. And I've done enough painting to know that this does not look right. So as soon as I saw it, I just had the sinking feeling that I made a big mistake. The problem here is that the water-based paint does not adhere to the oil-based paint without a primer, an oil-based primer, and it's really easy to peel off. As you can see from me just scratching with the nail, if this door got used at all, it would just show extreme peeling. What I should have done from the start, and the simple thing that you can do to prevent this from happening, is to just Take a rag, a paper towel, cover it in denatured alcohol, and then test the sections that you will be painting. So denatured alcohol will wipe off water-based paint, but it does not affect oil-based paint. And then on the sections of oil-based paint, if you would like to apply a water-based paint, you need to cover it with an oil-based primer. So this is a Sherwin-Williams product. Another product I use uh, and have used in the past is uh, Kills Original Primer. Worked well over some wood trim. Uh, and once you apply that oil-based primer, then you can apply your water-based paint. So here's one of the walls. And I'm just going to wipe my, use my rag to wipe off the water-based paint. So this is one of the walls that was uh, that is to be painted and you'll see how the paint just comes right off with the denatured alcohol. And I'll do that similarly on the trim. So here's what I painted over. And you'll see my water-based paint is coming off. But beneath that is the oil-based paint that was on there before and that is not coming off. So my water-based paint is coming off with the denatured alcohol but the oil-based paint remains. So I'm left here with the aftermath of wiping off all of the trim that I just painted and it's a lesson that I, I won't forget but you don't have to learn the hard way. Now, a question you might have at this point is, why would anybody use oil-based paint if it's so difficult to paint over? And the, a good feature of oil-based paint is that it's easy to clean with just soap and water. So this is a commercial space, high traffic space, a lot of people touching the, the doors with their greasy fingers, and they can be cleaned off with just soap and water. So if you have a kitchen you'd like to keep clean or a mud room that you want to to wipe down without damaging the paint, oil-based paint is a good way to go. Now, when you're applying that oil-based paint, you can't clean it up the same way, where if you make a spill with water-based paint, you use some denatured alcohol, it comes right up. With oil-based paint, depending on how long it's been on the ground, you need to use mineral spirits, paint thinner, or acetone, which leaves a, a stickier residue, more intense chemicals, uh, but you can still get the oil-based paint off. If you found this video useful, please take the time to like it, leave some feedback if you can. This is the way that the YouTube algorithm picks up my content, gives my channel some more exposure, and gets my website more traffic, notwaitingtolive.com.